Hey guys, welcome to my Descript tutorial. So I've included timestamps in the description below to help you quickly find what you're looking for. So in this tutorial, we'll cover timeline tips, editing transcript tips, how to activate Descript's text to voice feature called Overdub and the functionality of the tools on the left hand side. Additionally, I will also discuss Descript's subtitle feature, of course, because this is one of its most popular features. So if you're searching for something specific, be sure to check the description for the timestamps. So let's get started. So to create a Descript account, please consider using my referral link if you haven't created the account yet. It's located in the video description below. Or visit creatoract.com slash Descript. Thank you for your support. So once you click on the link, you'll be redirected to the Descript's homepage where you can create your account. So to get started, download Descript app to your computer or Mac. So now that you have created your account and downloaded the app, let's get started on your first project. So to begin, navigate to the Descript's dashboard and click on the new project button. Next, give your project a name and select a file to add to your project. So once Descript has finished creating a transcript of the file you added, we can move on to the next step. So first things first, here are some timeline tips to get you started. To zoom in or zoom out on your timeline, hold the control key and scroll with your mouse wheel. Alternatively, you can click on the three dots to access the zoom feature, but this is less convenient. So if you change your mouse position, the timeline will zoom in on that specific word. So to remove white spaces from your timeline, use the dragging feature. So you can also move the timeline back to the left or right, or use the Ctrl plus Z option to undo any changes. Press the spacebar to pause or start your video. You can also click on the play button, of course. So to move through your script, click on a specific word in your document and then press the play button or the spacebar. You can also select a specific time on your timeline or click on one of the scenes on the left side. And we'll discuss these scenes later in this video. So unlike Adobe Premiere, the video editing software I mainly use for my videos, Descript allows you to stack layers on your timeline or show only the selected layer, which can be convenient in some cases if you have lots of different layers on your timeline. So if you have lots of different layers on your timeline, also in Adobe Premiere, you can do this as well, but you can also expand that timeline view by dragging it higher up. So here are some editing tips for your transcript. So this first sentence over here has multiple errors. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm gonna play it. So all the hype about ChatGPT prompted Jasper AI to write this tweet. So as you can see, this, this word should be about. This should be ChatGPT. This should be Jasper AI. And this word should be the word tweet. So you can change these words in multiple ways to make it correct. You can press the C button. So I'm going to now press the C button. So I now enter the correction mode. And if I now click on one of these words, so let's say this word, I can now edit it. I'm going to change it to about. I'm going to click on correct. Another way to do it is to select the words you want to edit and then click the C button or click on this button over here. Correct. Chat GPT. Correct. So to be clear, you're only changing the script right now and you're not changing the audio. So that's very important to keep in mind. So you're only changing the script. So if you want to add subtitles, it's obviously important that the script should be correct. So this is also a word you want to edit. So let's say you have uh, multiple words you want to edit. You can also just select the entire sentence and then click C or click this here over here. And as you can see right now, I can edit multiple words at once. So Jasper AI to write this tweet. Correct. So another thing to keep in mind, let's say the script transcribes one of your words incorrectly multiple times. So instead of changing them one by one, you can also press uh, the keyboard shortcut Ctrl F. So now you can search your documents. So let's say we can see here chat GPT. So let's say if I write that, GPT. And now you can see there are eight results in this transcript. I want to correct it. 
So I'm gonna change it over here, chat GPT. So now I can click on apply to all, or I can go one by one. So let's say if I wanna go one by one, I'm gonna click on apply to change the first one. Should have had apply. chat GPT finish the thread for So apply. But with chat GPT, but with chat GPT. So as you can see, this script allows you to edit them one by one. Four results, at the beginning there were eight results this with chat GPT and I can confirm three results and you can also say apply to all so let's say if I click apply to all now all of them are corrected like this and if you want to do multiple edits at once you can also enter correction mode so you can click on this one over here or just press the C uh, keyboard shortcut and then you'll enter the correction mode so now I'm in correction mode and every word I select so let's say uh, this word over here I can select it like this I can drag and select multiple words chat GPT's emergence correct so if you forgot to say something in your video I want to create an entire audiobook for example using Descript's text to voice AI tool you can use the overdub feature so to create a custom voice with overdub you must upload at least 10 minutes of yourself speaking so the audio must consist only of you speaking so you cannot upload a file of someone else speaking for 50% of the recording so if you don't don't have a file of yourself speaking you can use one of these scripts example scripts to record your voice so keep in mind that while 10 minutes is the minimum length required the longer your audio script the better it will work according to these scripts website you can also see this page for more info I'll leave a link to this page in the description below so after uploading your voice you must also record a disclaimer stating that you give these scripts permission to use your voice to create a custom voice with AI so for a more detailed explanation of how it works see this page and I'll leave a link to this page as well in the description below so after your overdub voice is finished training you will receive an email notification of Descript saying it is finished so this process took about 12 hours in my case but it can, but it depends uh, in every situation I think so if you want to use the overdub feature and write a new sentence for example uh, I already wrote a new sentence over here but let's say I want to write a new sentence again uh, you need to go into the write mode so you can use the W shortcut key or just go here and click write and now I can type here whatever I want and once you're done writing you can select it and click on overdub overdub and it'll take some time before it is finished so now uh, you could just saw uh, the audio appeared over here so let's say uh, let's see how it sounds jibber this is robin hello this is jabber voice how are you doing so i think you heard uh, instead of it saying robin's voice it says jabber's voice so the thing is it only has a vocabulary of thousand words so you can see it on their pricing page so the free plan has thousand words vocabulary uh, so does the creator plan and if you want to have online limited words you need to purchase the pro plan and some people think it is worse in a in terms of the number of words uh, you can use the overdub feature for uh, which is incorrect it's it's actually the uh, the vocabulary so the English language has roughly 170,000 words which means that you will likely encounter one or more words in your sentence that won't work with the overdub if you're on the free or creator plan so to access the entire library of the English language you need to purchase the pro plan and one other tip as you can see I'm still in the ride mode so if you want to go out of the ride mode uh, you can press the escape button as you can see now I'm out of the ride mode again so what are scenes and how can they speed up your video editing process so if you're used to working with Adobe Premiere like me you're probably familiar with adding b-roll such as images videos or text to your timeline so with this script you can create different scenes that work like PowerPoint slides so this is a useful feature that can speed up your video editing process so these images on the left hand side over here these are the slides I created so no, I think normally if you start with a new project you have one slide so one of the handy things of uh, using slides so the first thing is if you click on it uh, it will redirect you to the start point of that uh, slide so for example this is the first slide so this is the first sentence so for example this first sentence over here you can see that I added a video over here so if I click on uh, this button over here to show all the layers if I move this up a little bit you have a little a little bit of view over here so for example this video over here is on the first slide so if we play this this part the emergence of chat GPT has become a complete 
And the cool thing about these slides is that if you add a video to one of these slides, the video automatically uses the length of the slide. So it doesn't like overwrite to the, over the, to the next slide, for example. So let's, let's experiment with it. So let's say if we add a video, so if we go to videos over here and we just add a random video. So this one is um, 13 seconds, for example, this one. And as you can see, it stops at the end of the slide. So if we play this part, the emergence of chat GPT has become you can see, so that is a pretty handy thing. So Adobe Premiere doesn't have those things. So if you add a video to Adobe Premiere, it will just add that entire video to your uh, to your timeline instead of having these slides. So you can quickly add more videos or images or whatever have you. So for example, if we want to add a new slides, the thing I do is I enter the slash and then a new slide appears. And you can also press enter if you want. So you have it on a new line. So things were looking so good. So things were looking good for Jasper AI. But th so let's say I want to add a new uh, slide again over here. So I press enter and then I press the slash. So to add a new slide. And if you want to know like which slide it is, you need to click on the slash over here. You can see. So now this is six. This is five. And again, if you want to add images to this particular slide, you go to this icon over here. Here you can search for images inside the script or videos, GIFs or audio files, sound effects, music or files from your computer. So adding subtitles used to be a pain in video editing. It took a really long time to do, but tools like Descript made it way easier. So unlike Adobe Premiere, Descript highlights words as they're spoken, which is pretty cool, keeping viewers hooked to the video. So it's a super helpful for social media videos where people often watch without sounds, especially in the beginning when scrolling. So with Descript, you can pop in those subtitles quickly, making your videos more accessible for everyone. So what I also like about Descript is that if you add subtitles, it doesn't add the subtitles to the entire video. Uh, if you use these slides. So let's say I want to add subtitles to this first slide. I'm going to select the first slide by either clicking on the slide over here or by clicking on, this, on the slash over here. I then move over to this icon over here, so the templates, and then I'm going to go to captions. And then over here, you can see the different captions that are available. So you can experiment yourself with uh, whatever caption you like most. But um, I like this one, so the future transparent. So I'm going to click on it and then the caption automatically appears over here. It also appears over here. And if you don't see this, you can use this toggle over here. So you either have this one. So show the selected layer only or show all layers. So now you can edit the caption to however you want. So let's say you want to have it like at the bottom over here, something like this. And then over here at the right hand side over here, you have the different settings. So here you can change the font. Over here you can change the, uh, the font size. And by the way, you can all always use the control Z option to go back. So let's say I made a mistake. I made it too small, for example. So instead of like manually going back to the original font size, I just press control Z and then the the last action will disappear. So if I press the play button, you can see the Descript effect. So it highlights the word that is spoken, which is really cool. The emergence of ChatGPT has become... That's pretty cool, right? Furthermore, you just have to experiment with the settings over here. So let's say if I go to the, to the middle a little bit, so let's say, so here we can see different colors, right? So the word that is already spoken has a white background color. So that, that is the fill color over here. So let's say if you want to tweak it, you can tweak it like to whatever you want. I press Ctrl Z right now to undo that action. It's the same goes for the highlight color. So if I click on this icon over here, here you can here we have some more settings. So here you can see the background, which is this blue color over here. If you want to tweak it, the future words. So off chat GPT, if you want to tweak that to a different color, you can do so here as well. So you can just experiment with it yourself. So this is a caption I added previously. So that is not the same caption as here. So I'm going to delete this one. So let's say I want to like continue the caption on this scene here as well. I can just select the caption and I can just drag it like to the end of this second slide over here. It's become a complete disaster. As you can see now, the same settings we used for slide number one are also used for slide number two. Now, if you want to tweak the settings of uh, the captions over here, so let's say like the colors don't really match the background of this particular slide, the best thing is to separate these uh, these captions. So we're going to use the blade tool over here. So the B, you can press the shortcut for B. And then we're going to cut this. So there are two different captions. 
Now we're going to go back to the uh, to the select tool. So now you can see you have two different captions. And now if you want to tweak the settings of this caption over here, so let's say the colors or the font size, you can do so without changing the captions of the first slide. So for podcast editing and short social media videos, like those that are 30 seconds long to, to one minute long, Descript is a good option. So Descript offers great features also, such as stock images and stock videos that would otherwise be available at an additional cost uh, at an additional platform if you want to purchase stock videos or images. Moreover, its pricing is reasonable considering all the features it offers.